We're getting more and more reports from Nancy Pelosi and Steven Mnuchin. They're talking. Maybe something's going to happen, but how critical is it that we get it sooner rather than later? I mean, I agree with Alicia. It's important for those you know, workers on the lower end of the totem pole that need that stimulus. But in terms of getting the economy up and running, uh, you know, to Alicia's point again, I mean, the numbers have come in phenomenally well. I mean, if you look at GDP for this quarter, you know, that Atlanta Fed GDP now estimates like 32 percent, Charles. That's way above where most economists and strategists had actually saw, you know, where we would be right now. It's, you know, I think a lot of these economists and strategists, right. they just don't believe in unstoppable prosperity. You know, they don't see the right. future. <laughs> and I think next quarter, they should read your book, by the way. But also, even fourth quarter, you're looking at like 10 percent potentially in GDP growth. Let's focus on tonight, the first presidential debate. Uh, all right, Ryan, uh, the importance to the market. Will this change or could it change how you look at the investing? Well, I think if it's a bloodbath, and it might be a bloodbath, um, it's kind of like pay-per-view fighting right now, I think that could you know, bring tremendous clarity to you know, Trump potentially winning. If that's the case, we know the economy is getting better. We know earnings are getting better. That could potentially cause a little bit of a melt up in the market. So clarity tonight could right. be a big, big deal. Okay. Could be very bullish for the markets. This earnings season is coming up. Uh, last earnings season was phenomenal. Not the numbers themselves, but just how much they came in better than Wall Street anticipated. Yeah, and I think it's the thing here. It's not if things are good or bad. Are they getting better or getting worse? And look, you don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows. Everything we're talking about today speaks to one thing, economy recovering, Earnings going up, and that's what drives markets long term. You've got to be bullish here, Charles. All right, my man. Ended it on a positive <laughs> note.